no plans, but here we go. Guys, it's uh, that time of the year now. Snow will start to disappear pretty quick. Starting to think about fishing. The ponds in that area. And I want to try out some new spots this year, so I'm going to put a try and build a little rack for my kayak. So I can do some exploring in the new ponds and take the kayak in there. Give it a try. I got no plan at all for this uh, rack, and it's going to build it. Uh, as we go here, see how it turns out. Now, I know it got to be, it's going to be cramped no matter what you do. But I got to be able to somehow get in like this be up here you know I gotta be able to see so at least that high I'd say it's about 40 inches there I think, I think 40 inches is high enough now I also got to keep in mind that the front of the quad is a little touch lower than the back of the quad so it doesn't really matter if it's that level or not but to kind of bounce that I'll just make a rough guess
All right, so we got these two uh, stands up here, and then the kayak is going to rest the front there and the back there, of course. So now we have to put a couple of supports on each side, and high enough that it's not going to be in the way for when I go to get on the quad. Boy, never saw in a spring. Come back to fall, boys. And now she's starting to shape up there boys. That's pretty much the, the basis of it right there. Now I'm going to put some uh, corner brackets in here with some plywood gussets to strengthen this up because it's kind of going to want to go back and forth you know. Maybe not day one but after uh, hopefully a few years of bouncing around it's going to start to get a little bit weak so let's get those gussets in there. There's the gusset, and you'll see I put a little filler uh, piece of 2x4 in there to bring it out level with the other piece there. And uh, and I'll come back in after I'm finished now and fill in some more screws here for extra strength. But I can guarantee you, once you get uh, one of them on each corner there now, she ain't going anywhere. Four more now for the uh, supports that go the other way. These will be a little smaller.
Here we go. I'll do the same for the front now. Okay, so now I just roughly uh, put the kayak up there in the center, just kind of rough eyed it, you know. And now I'm going to put these uh, blocks right here on each side and bring it up tight to the kayak on each side so you can't, the kayak can't slip left or right. Well guys, there you have it for the structure part. Now you're wondering how am I going to keep it down on the quad a bit. And it's going to be three straps and we're going to be done with this. Here we go. have it guys this strap here is going to work to keep the uh, rack down and also to kind of pull it back this way this one will up front will work to keep it down and pull it this way so it's a opposite of the one in the back which means it won't go back and forth that way and the kayak can't go left and right here because we have those stops put in there and this strap in the middle I have it linked together right here and that will work to keep it down so there's no way that's going to come off there now secured guys nice and tight just to give you a little idea how sturdy this really is I don't think I'm gonna be driving that radical at least I hope I'm to take her for a test drive
Cause it turned out pretty well, I must say. It uh, went together nice and easy, pretty fast. Took me a couple hours, probably total. That's even with filming. Uh, it came out really sturdy. There's lots of headroom. Uh, I tried it out, went for a test run. You wouldn't even know it was on the quad. Actually, it doesn't seem to bother it at all. So that's great. I can't wait to try it. I can't wait for the snow to go away and to go out fishing. So guys, thanks for uh, coming along with me on this little video today. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you try it yourself, let me know. Drop me a comment with some tips. And uh, we'll catch you on the next video for sure. Take care.